Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial session. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create and set up WordPress on a subdomain um, through cPanel. So to get started, you have to log in into your cPanel account, and then it's going to bring you to the cPanel dashboard. So on your cPanel dash dashboard, you're going to scroll down till you get to domains, domains, then you click on domains. So you're going to bring you to this page. It's very important you remember your domain name. Very, very important because you're going to be using it now. So you click on create a new domain. So in this case, you're creating a subdomain. So my subdomain will be hello.pauldesign, which is my domain name, dot site. Yeah, so good. Now, I don't want to share document routes. If you have the stick, just untick this. I don't want to share my the document route. So once you're done, just click on submit. Yeah, so we've successfully created our subdomain. The next thing is for us to install WordPress on the subdomain. To do that, we click on cPanel. You scroll down to the end of the page. You see scripts. Click on WordPress. So once you get to this page, click on install. Now you see choose installation URL. In our case, we are going to select our subdomain, which is hello.pauldesign.site. I'm going to remove the WP. So yeah, no trusted. Okay, I'm going to change this to HTTP. So the next thing is to change the site name and the site description. I'm just going to leave this the way it is. Then the username and password, I'm going to leave that. Then I'll just add my password. Then I'm just going to add my email, admin email. I'm going to select classic editor limit. Yes. Then once I'm done, I'll confirm all the details I've entered. Please and please don't forget your username. Please don't use default username. Use a, a very unique username. So for this case, just to um, enforce this enough, I'll just change this to, let's say, Paul. Yeah. This. So yeah, so that it's very, very secure and is not easily, your website is not easily hacked. So once you're done, um, scroll down, please change your site name and site description also. So I'm just leaving this because this is just the tutorial. All right, so you scroll down to the end of the page, click on install. So let's wait for the installation to be complete. All right, so our installation is done. As you can see, say congratulations, the software has been installed successfully. So you can easily just log in by clicking on the administrative URL, click on it. It's going to open a new tab. And it's going to bring you to the WordPress admin page. So yeah, that's how to install and set up a WordPress on the subdomain, I'm Tracy Panel. If this video was helpful, kindly subscribe Thanks for watching.